Hello everybody, welcome to the video, we're here today for some more IMSA World, uh, IMSA Sports Car Championship here in, here at Belle Isle for this last week of the 2019 Season 2. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go, um, I thought I'd just do, if this is, well this is, if this is either going to be my last race for 2019 Season 2, I might do one last GD3 run uh, to wrap it up, but it's either going to be the last or second last race of this season officially for me so yeah we'll see how we go um starting eighth of the three car quality wasn't that good so we'll see how we go going green try and survive really the pace car is in green 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 Car on your left. Clear on the oh, left. Oh. Ooh, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that was a big crash. Holy cow. How did we not get killed in that? We got so close to being hit. That was ridiculous. I reckon half the field's dead, to be honest. Like, he came straight across. We'll have to find out later, but... Big crash. It's one freebie. It's P7. All right, let's try and get in the groove, shall we? I was to do it in quality, I was on for a better lap in qualifying and I happened to, or managed to tag the wall at the last corner. So, qualifying that was pretty scrappy, I just wanted to get one in on that second run because I just didn't want to stuff it. So we showed more pace than we showed in qualifying. Problem is it's Belle Isle, so <laughs> trying to pass around here is pretty impossible. So we'll see how we go, especially in cars like this, so that might be a layer of contact, but either way. See how we go though. 45 minutes, fuel required, no tyres as usual, being Belle Isle, being push, stop start stuff, it's not a very big refuel, so pretty large pit window, of course the problem is because of the field, or because of traffic, it's necessarily quicker to do the short stop, or the early stop, oh, hello, that looks like it might have been contact, legit contact, not net code. That looks legit. On contact, I don't think that was net code. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Stay on the left. Clear. Let's have that. Have that. That was a fun move. <laughs> I always love pulling that move up. I go all defensive and then you just go clean around the outside. Credit to him, he gave me room there. That's not easy to do into that corner, so credit to. Jose on that, it's well done. So it should be P6 now. Let's see what else we can gain here. I think we'll try and aim for uh, my top five at the very least, but I think we should probably be able to get a podium. That's where we should be, but so there we go. As I say, long 45 minute race, you know, good length of time. Obviously, Bella, very easy to stuff up. Especially in this car, I've noticed it feels, I think because it's a bit softer than um, in the other GTEs, it feels like it's just easier to put it in the fence, I don't know why. So it's just sort of taking it easy at the moment, just trying to get the groove. Hey, at least we've got some overtaking to do, which is good. Last two runs have been pretty pretty sort of just on my own, more surviving than anything else, so it's good to be able to do some overtaking here. This one did split, only just split, only only one split, 25 cars in this one, so about 25 in the other one, but it's good to get, you know, have a split race, decent soft, not too, nothing too drastic, but decent, so it is good. Driving very well, but that's fine. Really interesting to go back and look at that crash at the start. That was a massive incident. Just lost it and then just ricocheted back across the track. So I'm interested to see how many died in that one because I reckon there was a lot of people who were caught in it. That's my feeling, but we'll see. Damn it. <laughs> Damn curbing. So I don't 
don't hit it. It's kind of similar, even though the Ferrari is meant to be the best on the curbs, it's a similar scenario to the um, Porker and the Ford, really. Really, it's the 90 degree right hand at the end of the straight, and then the corner after are probably the only two you want to kind of, kind of clob the curbing ass, everything else you kind of want to avoid it. They're not driving well at all, but that's alright. Jumped in with, as usual, just off no real practice and having. After the Le Mans 24 hour weekend and having done the V8 soft last night, so it's been a couple of days or so since I've driven an IMSA run. So we're keeping third in view though, which is good. on the mid-corner there. It's starting to pull away from the cars behind, which is good. I feel like I'm going fast, but it might be also the car, because I think I've mentioned before, the GTE Ferrari it does sound pretty sort of bland, really. The GT3 just sounds a bit meatier, it's got a bit more, a bit more sort of there to the sound, whereas this just sounds really flat. It's kind of, yeah, you know, so... We'll think a lot of the time you won't think you're on that quick, or think you don't think it's going as quickly as you, you actually are, because it just doesn't sound like <laughs> you're really pushing too much, you know, it doesn't sound terribly exciting. slowly pull away so especially being caught behind these guys I highly doubt we're going to catch them so it looks like really P3 will probably be the best we can do but that will be a big ask because again because there's not a lot of fuel there won't be much we're going to gain fuel wise so we can't really do anything there too much or things so we're going to have to probably legitimately do this Settled.
we're going to do this. It's just so hard to pass around here. I mean, really, you got the back straight, straight, quote unquote. But um, you got there, all the 90 degree right hander are probably going to two main overtaking opportunities around here. And even then, there. I mean, even then, the back straight's kind of, you know, got to be like a long ease to pretty much got to be alongside at the breaking zone. Have any kind of chance. So. Kidding me? Clear. Wow. That's just rude. Thing where to have the last race go. I think we're okay somehow. I don't think the damage is too severe, but. Just disappointing. The annoying thing is I knew that was going to happen too, but anyway. I mean, I'm always tempted to just pit, take our chances. So I think, how far are we down speed here? Like we are down some speed, maybe? I can't really tell, actually. Let's have a look. The thing is, we pit probably going to come out in the GD3s, so... What I prefer to deal with, I'm not really sure. To be honest with you. should have realised the last time around when he didn't put me in the wall, but anyway. When he, yeah, yeah, before he put me in the wall, but anyway. It's freeze, that's a spot though, P5. As I said, frustrating that we got the contact. I think somehow we're okay. We'll be in a second once I've got to use this again. Hoping we don't actually have too much damage again. Being Bellol, you know, it doesn't really matter too much if you've got, you know, minor damage because it's such a short uh, stop-start track and lap. So we're at our minimum, minimum um, goal. Let's keep going. We'll see. As I say, I get a feeling we are at least semi, semi-wounded. Because it doesn't quite feel as good as it was before. It's not quite turning as well. Find out. We'll keep going. You gotta make moves there, and below if you're gonna do them, you gotta commit. You can't. It's one of the tracks you really can't half ass. You can obviously. You know, some tracks you can kind of half fast moves, but not around here. Want to make them stick? You gotta, gotta go for it. So, I said I was alongside. I think I gave him enough room. I thought I did, but he may have squeezed him too much. I'm not really sure. But always tough around here. So. We're clear now. So.
Oh, hello. Oh, hello. P2's dead. Oh! Oh! This is a good one. How much damage has he got? Would have been on his own, so he had no one with him. So he's going to deflect off. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. They've both gone wide. Oh, this is garnage. Drama. Yeah, maybe we do pit, because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Hiding can do the clear tyres, damn it. Oh. Left side. Oh, what the Clear on the left, car on your left. Clear. They say you cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the what time What the fuck, game. man? Car on your left. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. Just ignore I exist. It's alright. Oh my god. Fuckwits everywhere, mate. That's okay, man. It's okay. Just ignore I exist. It's alright, man. It's, it's no problem. Oh my god. Just spastics everywhere. I don't know how we're going to do this, by the way, because <laughs> being Belal, I need to change JRT tab, I think. I swear to God, people are just, bit, just plain retarded, man. Somehow we still haven't got a meatball. Um, we're definitely pinning. It's just scary. I'll take my chance with the GD3s, I think. Look at this. you ridiculous. Tires cleared, so we're good on that. Just need to do the fuel, which we can do on the way in if we need to. So we won't go one extra. I'm literally, literally cruising, I'm still keeping with these guys, that's how slow they are. Because they qualified head, they're like, oh, I've got the pace on him. No, but okay. Just to be safe. Yep, I would prefer to take my chances with the GD3s than deal with the just spastics up there. Like, that's twice. <laughs> I get pushed into the wall once, and then old mate just decides to completely ignore that I even exist and just turn in completely. Unbelievable. Thankfully, I only have 13 seconds. That's actually not too bad considering things. We're gonna. I'm actually. Oh, it's gonna be close. We're either gonna just beat him out or just come out behind the leading GD3. Just by the leading duty three is not too bad. Alright, cool. He's the highest rated guy in here, so see if we let me through before the good stuff. See good Next stuff. Side. Clear. Beauty. Alright, well this has actually worked out pretty well because we've got a little bit of a gap to the next car. Problem is that no one else will be stopping for a while, so probably gonna have to do some passing still. But hopefully with the pace difference it'll be a bit easier. Cheers to that man, really appreciate it. Just letting you know, because appreciate the observation. You know, he that doesn't really lose him much, looks like he's leading relatively comfortably, so. If anyone will react to it, let's find out. I'm hoping not, but if they do, they do. Well, this one's certainly been exciting. <laughs> so it's been, uh, yeah, much more going on than the first rims runs, but that's what happens when you have a slightly higher soft and qualify in the pack. And a track where it's near impossible to pass. Oh, no, I'm reacting. Good. They'll probably go long, which is good for me. Might be able to get the long con, quote unquote. That'll be the plan, I think. Well, as I said, 13 seconds optional isn't too bad, really. Usually that's not enough to cause any kind of actual performance loss, generally speaking. Generally that's 
you know, visual was probably not really affecting your performance rise much, if at all. So it's when you get to kind of 20, 30 plus seconds optional that you start. I've noticed anyway that you generally start having, you know, either enough aero damage to be low, lower on top end or not handled as well. So we should be okay. I think I'm just going to kind of get back in the headspace, I suppose, after that. Probably also just being. Stop on the right. Oh, where is he? I heard on the right. Okay, he's gone already. Cool. So that's another one less to deal with. You got a slow car oh, on the one. right. Oh, so. Go left. Just want to make sure he didn't come back across on me. Oh, Jose's dead. Oh, it's Jose. Oh, well, group. That's a shame. He's the one guy I've been able to have a clean exchange with. But anyway. Oh, well. Nature of the beast is below. If we try to mid 26s, then we should be okay. But I think even high 26s will probably just about do it, to be honest. Especially if Julian is limping around with damage. At this point, it'd be good to try and get to fourth. Good to get to third, but we'll see. Fair way to go, we've still got half the race to go. Half race gone, wow, okay. I hadn't actually looked at the time, we're nearly halfway already. That's one of the quickest tiles of Imster I've had for a while, to be honest with you. Shows how hectic it was. Ooh. It's good fun around here though, even though it is hectic as buggery, it is really good fun. I really do enjoy the circle a lot. Very good choice for my art to put it in. We needed a sort of proper street circuit, I think, so they've done well to pick this one. Actually, pretty good fun, IMO. I mean, as, as with most street circuits, it's not maybe the best for racing. Um, as mo again, as most aren't. Well, are. You know, not that good for racing because they're just too tight. But to actually drive and everything, it's great. I really do enjoy it a lot. Let's have a look. Will this guy would fight me net unnecessarily. This is the question. What's he going to do? Left side. Oh, you're on the left. Big lob. Pretty much said to him, get out of the way or I'm putting you in the fence. Didn't really mean to be so authoritative with it, but anyway. <laughs> kind of went a bit deep, but it's okay. Is he going to fight it? I hope not. No, he's not. He is? Why are you fighting this? Why? <laughs> Wait. I don't get people, man. Oh shit, I better fucking fight this guy that's pitted and everything. Anyway. Reward for the most unnecessary attempt to look for a pass. Probably just salty though, kind of bombed him, which I did, I didn't mean to bomb him that hard, I just kind of wanted to get it done. Again, this is sort of the nature of Belal, if you're going to make the move, you've got to, you've got to commit to it. half ass stuff's what gets you in trouble around here. Then you can't, then you obviously you can't go too far and commit too much, but yeah, if you're going to do it, you've got to, you know, properly go for it. half ass stuff never works around tracks like this. And this guy's, I think he might have actually tagged the wall legitimately, so I think he's got damage. So you need to clear him pretty quickly. As I say, he doesn't have a lot of pace, if any at all, really. Right side. Clear. I think he meant to let me through there. I the feeling he just lost the rear, so... <laughs> Works out well for me, though. We're clear. And then we should be just about, really, clear to the stops. Just about. Depending on how quickly we catch Pedro. We'll keep going. You're in the top ten. Back to night though, we're back to nearly where we started, we're only one spot off where we started this one, so it's good. Oh. It's a weird reaction to that curb. So it's weird, usually the Ferrari is the best one on the curbs out of the GTEs, but reacting a bit weirdly to them this race, to be honest.
nice lap that was too, really good. So yeah, I don't know if we don't know if we do actually have any race ending damage or anything, I just gotta get used to the car again. Nearly a twenty five, beat up quality lap already, which is always fun. Yeah, yeah this, our quality lap was pretty terrible, but that's alright. Yep, gained on Marco and Joseph what looks of it. I don't think we gained Julian though. Interesting to see where we do pop out. I think we should at least hopefully pop out fourth. We'll see if we get any higher than that. Fourth's fine, I'll take fourth. I prefer a podium, but that's where it should be, but it's alright. Eighth to fourth, that's pretty good around Belle Isle in my mind. I'll take it, especially with a couple of a couple of bubbles along the way. They actually are going to catch Pedro at this point. I kind of hoped I wouldn't, but getting up to him at a pretty decent rate of knots. to brushes there with the wall. Just nipped it. It's a little bit too far. I can get away with that one. Nearly did what didn't qualify, which wasn't enough to be a meatball on Zaka. It was a pretty hefty whack at the wall. So as I said, these guys probably won't pit for a while. Probably not till sort of 8, 9 to go. I think that's about how far you can go on the fuel. So I'm going to region anyway. So probably still got about four, four or five laps till we see where we end up. Turn too well again. Been a lot lately. I've got to turn in and I end up turning much better than I thought I would. So anyway, that'll be. server and micro I reckon. Uh, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure with um, second and third though, that's interesting to see. I don't know how long the pit travel time is. I probably should know because I went through myself. I'm not actually sure to be honest with you. So we'll see. I get the feeling it'd be close though. I'd say it'd be around 30 seconds. Okay, not driving well here. I'm Helping myself out, but it's okay. Side. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice, righto. Could have just done it here, you didn't have to let me through there, but fair enough. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cool, alright. Well, that's deep. That's alright.
shooting easily, as I said, I reckon beat out. Fourth and fifth. Spot on. Good lap that lap too. I reckon either this lap or the next, or the next few laps, basically, we should know where we actually are. So, so I get a feeling it'll definitely be fourth at the very least. Just gotta see whether we'll be in that battle for second two. If we leave them all, and that'd be the ideal strap, we'll just line out. As I said, because it's a relatively short fill. Probably gain too much there. All the guys are head pin good for him. Yeah, he's going to beat out Severin. That'll be gaining on him every lap. So, same for the next two, and also gaining on. Like, as I say, I get a feeling it's roughly 30 seconds. The same feeling, a lot, a lot of things, but um. I think it's about 30 seconds for the pitch reversal time. High 20s in that region or something. Hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not as far up as I thought we were. This is also possible. I and mean, that Vincent guy, though, he was ahead. Wait, was he? No, he wasn't. Sorry, no, he wasn't. His old mate behind him, yeah. Which that looks like about 27, 8 seconds to me, so yeah. So I have the feeling we're going to come out between the two groups there. See that? Might be PB here. So it 
should be. It's just we needed it. Good. As just said, we were beating him out easily. As expected. Right side. Clear. Cool. And wow, Julian. No, Julian did beat us out. Wow. Easy, too. Bit just separate by quite as much as I thought we would either, so there we go. So we'll be P4 then. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Why not? Car right. Clear. Look at me and Julian have been matching players pretty much by the looks of it. The lead is pitting now. Yeah, we should gain up to P4 though, which is good. That's good. You're backing fifth. P4 now. Yeah, well, Julian and Ahmed did stay a good chunk ahead, although I think Julian just jumped Ahmed since so it switched there. Yeah, easily beat those two out behind, which is what I kind of figured, so yeah. Alright, not too bad. Let's take it, see what we can do here. Still at six laps, but gonna need these two to get into each other, which may happen, but properly start taking chunks of each other for us to have any chance of getting involved, I think. Left side. Oh, why you do this? Why you do this? Still there. Why? Yield it. You got about five laps Christ. of fuel left. Clear on the left. Why are people stupid? Oh, stir. Oh, he's the number four car too. What an idiot. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm just turning around the outside. Yeah. Do you maybe think maybe pulling in behind me was actually the quicker option? Because you know, two cars through there is very slow, shot car. An outside chance here. You've got Ahmed. a slow car on the left. Oh, hello. Alright, is that. Oh, that's just the. No, it's a third, or who was that? Okay, it's just been third. You've 
car on your left. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. GSR. A couple of the teams who are racing the 24 hours actually. Funnily enough, but yeah. Left side, it's clear on the left. Off the kink, but okay. Deep, but okay. Rap catching up to Ahmed at a right right of knots. See that traffic sooner. I think if the Audi hadn't held us. Like, two laps there. I mean, we might have been on him. We've had the Audi not kicked us as much, but we had a feeling we still would have been P4. Bit of a shame. So I was going to take a bit more of a beating after getting it so high after the 24 hour, but anyway, all good. It wasn't even that clean. 24 hour last stint, I was very, 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 very bad. Just because I was so frustrated with how that all ended, so... So we are charging up to Ahmed, but too little too late, I think. So he's going to unfortunately catch the GD3 at a good point as well. Or not. I like it held through here actually. You have about two laps of fuel left. Just only have one to go, I think we've got one short. Oh wow, he's actually not still cleared him. Interesting, GD3 being a bit of a prick it seems. He's defending or aiming for his aiming through, I was going to say. Was, is he? No, he's defending, is he? No, he wasn't aiming through, right, okay. The Audi being kind of weird. No, interesting. Oh, I think I know the name now, I just realised why, but you know. Yeah, I mean, if the Audi hadn't kicked us, we'd be a little closer, but I don't think we've uh, had a chance at it nearly, but not quite. I think really the kicker was those, there's a couple laps when I pitted there, a couple laps where I wasn't that quick. Not really because the traffic just wasn't quick, so... Anyway, cost us in the end, but that's okay. Searing things, sorry, got... Got hit in the shoulder a couple of times. Pretty lucky, as I said, in the end that damage was not really enough to cause any kind of loss of pace or anything. So pretty lucky in that regard. Passing this guy, not much point. Wow. Why? Why? Is, why would you do that? 
Why do you bash the curves that much in the Audi? It's just a bad play. But anyway. All good. And that will be that. My uh, IMSA at Belal. Kind of suitably rough, rough race. Kind of just a bit of a right, dude. there's the chicken flag. <laughs> so. Great job, you did really well. But anyway, 8 to, eight to 4th. Uh, I think it was, so yeah, considering things, I'll take it as I said. Shame that we um, kicked the qualifying, because if we'd actually qualified okay, been a bit further up, we'd probably have been a second or third, I reckon. But, good to still recover a you know, decent result of it, so yeah, alright in the end. So uh, yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed, as always, and until the next video, bye for now.